Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Dino Times. I'm your guys' host, Dakota Morgan, coming to you from Phoenix, Arizona, and today we're going to be talking about a dinosaur that deserves a little bit more credit, but one that was kind of thrown to the waste, tax, and catch my drift. That dinosaur being, Dryptosaurus is actually very iconic and very much a dinosaur that you should know because the name itself does mean a tearing lizard, and it is a genus of basal estro Mosaurin, a theropod dinosaur, and there's only one species though in this genus, which we will talk about in just a second. That species, being the the Aquilungus Dryptosaurus, does drive from the late Cretaceous island continent of Appalachia. Of course, though, it was a carnivore, and it was known for also for large claws on its arms as well. Now, it could be a big, hefty predator to say the least here, and that because it could grow up to 25 feet long and 3,300 pounds, folks. That's like the size of almost of a rhino. Now, the reason why I did say Dryptosaurus was iconic and should be a known dinosaur is because it is the first theropod known to science. Before the Tyrannosaurus, before Allosaurus, even back in the 1800s, this was the first two-legged carnivorous dinosaur that we found. And before that, we only found them due to teeth. It's the only reason we knew they existed. We knew there was herbivores. You know, we had Megalosaurus and such like that as well that hodgepodge amalgamation of a dinosaur, quote-unquote, who later turned out to be a guanodon, were able to find the sharp teeth of the theropods during the Bone Wars and yada yada. This was the first one that we found of a skeleton, and that's pretty iconic, to say the least. Now, like I've mentioned, it was an 1800s dinosaur. It was first discovered by Edward Cope in 1866, but later renamed by Marsh in 1877. Now, though, sadly, the genus did become a wastebasket taxon, and there's been a lot of talk that this is a tyrannosaur, so... There is that happening for Dryptosaurus, sadly, so there is a little bit of knowledge for you guys about the Saurus, and like you like you to go explore more about paleontology, scientifically accurate dinosaurs, and other prehistoric creatures as well. So if you guys love this and want to know more about other prehistoric creatures down the line in our education episodes, want to hear more interviews, or want to catch the news as it drops, then be sure to subscribe to the channel for more Dino Times here, and leave a like, guys, if you did enjoy it. Thanks, everybody, and as always, remember, folks, Science is real.